Now the 4 Series is being replaced within the next couple of weeks, so before we get rid of it, we thought we would do some different challenges with it, starting with a race. Now I'm going to be in the Range Rover, and I'm going to take highways only across to the other side of town to the lake. And Nick is going to be driving the BMW like a pure sports car should be driven. I'm going to take highways, Nick has to stick to back roads, and we're going to drive a course of about 20 miles across town to the lake to see who gets there first. So my advantage is... I'm gonna be able to keep a higher top speed. Nick's advantage is he doesn't have to worry about speed cameras, cops, or pretty much anything like that, so he'll be able to drive faster. Before we jump into the video, I just wanna say take a moment to check out Downforce for car enthusiast t-shirts, posters, and backpacks. But for now, let's go ahead and uh, start the race. Are you ready, Nick? I'm ready. Let's go. Go. Okay, camera on. GoPro on. All right, now, one of the things that I have to do, that I have to keep in mind that Nick doesn't, is speed cameras. Now, the thing is, I know there's about four or four speed cameras, one on each side, so there's two speed cameras that I need to worry about. And pretty much, because of that, I have to be super careful not to go over the speed limit at least too much. Don't ever speed. I'm not speeding. Okay, GoPro is rolling. I, uh... I'm, I'm headed out. Patrick is talking to the camera. I don't know if I'm good to go. Okay, so sport plus mode, sport. I'm trying to figure out my best route, and I think it would actually be to go in the opposite direction at first to get to the highway quicker, because if I go that way and hop on the highway, I'm just going to... Okay, he's going. All right, he's off. I'm in a parking lot right now, so I can't go too fast. There's someone cutting across all the lanes here. So pretty much I am starting the race going the wrong way. Nick is gone. I can't even, he was supposed to go that way. I don't even know where he is. I've got my emoji fresh hanging up in the Range Rovers, whatchamacallit. Here we go. There's people. Okay. All right. Now I'm not going to commentate necessarily all of this, but I'll commentate. Ah! Shit, cutting through parking spaces almost sideswiped me. Stopped our race almost before it even began. Patrick is right now, I, this is the last time I'm gonna see Patrick. He's turning left onto the highway. I'm turning right onto the back road. So he is turning left right now onto the highway. Here I am trying to make sure nobody gets in front of me. And here we go. Technically, the race just started. So I'm on the back roads, hitting it hard and heavy, and Patrick is on uh, the highway. Range Rover shifting a little funny. We'll ignore it for now. Get that checked out later. And I'm already sitting at a red light for someone who's turning left, and I don't have time for this, which... The disadvantage here, I am basically, where we're going is kind of an L, right? We have to cut over and then straight, right? So in Patrick's case, he's gonna be going straight, right? And then cutting over to the left. I'm gonna be doing the opposite of that, right? So I'm gonna be going straight here and then, or like going left, and then going straight over, right? So I hope that made sense, probably didn't, but it's uh, still interesting nonetheless. Pretty good route he's picked here as far as like both of us being able to kind of have an even playing field. Like it really is possible for uh, him to win. Thing is, he said he could keep a higher average speed than me and um, that's probably not gonna happen. Okay, now here's the thing. I understand Nick is gonna be driving like a complete and total maniac the entire time. Hitting it hard and heavy. I'm currently still sitting at a red light. My only hope is that Nick can get behind a slow car who will slow him up. However, uh, I'm, I'm going 45, as far as all of you know. But, um, I'm, yeah, so with that, I'm flying and going to probably be able to keep a much higher average speed than he'll be able to because, like he said, he has to deal with cops. Even if he was to go 10 over, I'm still probably around the same speed as him on average. Yeah, I'm just going to do some driving real quick. Go, 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 go! Alright, take the Range Rover through the big fucking hole, and uh, let's go. I'm going to need to take my emoji fresh down because that's going to be in the way. But uh, this is the worst air freshener ever. There is no scent, no smell. Uh, never was from day one, so. But it's really funny. It's a gag gift. All right. 
armrest down. Let's cruise. Gotta get over in this lane. So I mean I don't get caught off by the truck. Okay. Second red light already. No cop. There is like three or four places where there could be a sheriff. So Patrick is driving through the city of Morristown where we live. And I am driving through the county. So because of that, I have to deal with some sheriff potentially, um, whereas Patrick is going to be dealing more with uh, city cops. So, you know, that's the thing. Now, here's another interesting point. If I pass an officer um, going this way, he's coming towards me, I probably am gonna be able to get away um, before he can catch me. The thing is, um, once I get past this little section right here, there's quite a few places I can bug out, meaning I can cut over and run away from any people that try to uh, pull me over and write me a big old reckless endangerment ticket. I'm not even on the correct road yet. I'm not even going the correct way to the route and I can't see around this trailer if my light's green so I'm just gonna go anyway. Um, ask for forgiveness later. That was safe, that was legal, that was a smart thing to do. So I'm now heading in a semi-correct direction but I'm about to hit a work zone which is not really what I want to do right now. But I don't have any other choice. I probably should have gone left because there's not a train. The advantage of taking the road I'm on now is that I was able to go over the train tracks so I wouldn't have to stop at them if there was one, which around this time there is most of the time. Didn't work out. And work so. If you've never driven a true sports car, it's quite the experience because to do it correctly, you're, you're constantly thinking, constantly, you know, checking yourself before you wreck yourself and all sorts of stuff like that. Now, there are some flaggers up here. There is the utility work that we actually hit earlier. I've cased this route all day today. So um, what you just saw there was they had moved and I came up here sporty and almost killed people. So, <laughs> that's what you just saw. So I'm just casually driving through, you know, just hoping they don't get a license plate going and call the cops. Woo! <clears throat> they moved quite a bit there. Sign was in the same place, but they were not. Alrighty, let's go ahead and uh, get back going. <laughs> this is truly truly intense for me like I cannot let Nick win this first challenge because one it's the first challenge we've done on the automotive channel like this and two if Nick wins I will have to listen to it for the next 60 years of my life he will talk about it so long even my grandchildren will know that I lost the first breakdown automotive race but I'm not gonna lose I'm gonna win this because I have a feeling Nick is stuck right now behind some slow car and he's not getting anywhere. So my goal is to do this entire thing in probably under 20 minutes, um, which means an average speed technically of 60 miles an hour. Um, I'm also trying to stop most fully at all stop signs um, in order to, you know, kind of follow as many traffic laws as I can. There were freaking geese in the road. That was kind of scary. I, for one, am stuck behind a slow truck and I am not getting anywhere. Okay, you have racing stickers on your truck. You should know what it's like to be in a race. Go! Please go. I'm in a hurry! Alright, so this is where I should be able to get ahead because this is where Nick can't drive too quickly. Car there. Come out. Boom. Check for a cop. No cop. That was uh, the second place that there could have been a cop. There's one more place on this route where we could, uh, like I said, hit some of the five up. That's not true. He's probably going faster than me and I'm going quite over the speed limit, but I have to watch out for speed cameras because there's a set coming up. Uh, 
So at this point, I'm really curious where Patrick is at. Um, because I'm, 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 like I said, I'm really curious. I don't know where he's at, and I would really, really like to know. Might actually give him a call once I get around this corner here. So you know what we do in the meantime? Since we're on the highway, we're just cruising. We're not really getting anywhere. We're going to uh, hook up the phone and listen to some music. That is mainly so we don't have to listen to the rattles of the Range Rover. So, yeah. Let's just get some music playing here. I'll put it in. Okay, a little bit of brake squeaking. There's some brake dust build up. All right, I'm going to call Patrick really quick. Oh, nope. My Bluetooth's off. And I don't have the time to pull out my phone, nor is it safe when you're driving like this. Pull out your phone, so we're not going to do that. Um, yeah, there's a car right there. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no. Oh, make a choice. I'm, I'm going straight. I'm thinking straight, so it's going to be quicker. I have been cut off by a forerunner, and now we're going below the speed limit, which we were always doing. Oh, yes, they're turning left. My risk paid off. I'll call Nick here in a minute. But, yeah, that's that's pretty much what's going on right now. Kia, you had your chance. I'm sorry. I'm coming around you. Flip me off. That's fine. That's fine. All right, big dog racing. I am going around you. My only hope at this point is that there's not a trooper on this highway because if there is, you're going to have to go buy some downforce merchandise in order to pay for my ticket. Getting some weird rattles from the Range Rover right now. Gotta push on, gotta ignore it. There was, they turned off of a road where I could have cut over, but that would have wasted some time. I would have been doing some backtracking there. Now, no backtracking, we're straight ahead and uh, plowing away at this road. So, got lucky there. And turning. That was our, that's a big straightaway there where we can get some, uh, you know, go from 25 to 45 very, very easily. It's sad that the more reliable car is leaving us, the 4 Series that is, but hopefully in its place will come something a little more reliable than both of them. I would know so much about these speed cameras because I've had a, a couple of run-ins with them in the past, and uh, there's nothing like looking down in your center armrest like this and then looking up and seeing flashing lights and it being a speed camera. Right, gotta slow down to the speed limit. If I go over nine miles an hour, essentially if I go 10 miles an hour over the speed limit, it will get me. So I have to slow down quite a bit. I also wanna point out I am getting low on fuel, which is terrifying because as far as I'm concerned, there is no gas station, just went through that second set of speed lights or speed cameras. As far as I'm concerned, there's not a gas station near where we're going. That was my time, and that's a cop, that's a cop, that's a trooper. Slowing down quite aggressively. I was not speeding whatsoever. I was not speeding. Hi, officer. Hi. And now we floor it. Well, as much as you can floor it in this car. You know, this is one of those times, I make fun of the Range Rover Sport SVR quite a bit for being just a bit over the top, but this is one of those times where the Sport SVR would come in very handy. You see, the thing is, if Nick runs into a cop, he can outrun them, which he has many of times in video games. But I can't. I'm in a big 6,000-pound box. I can't, I can't go anywhere. So hopefully at this point, like I said, Nick is stuck behind some slow driver who's only going 30 miles an hour. I am genuinely worried about this because I cannot let Nick win. I'm now getting on my second highway. I'm going from highway 160 to highway 25 eastbound, I think, or north. Somehow this highway goes north. I'll ignore that. All right, gonna slow it down some here. Because if there's going to be a cop, this is where it's going to be. Nope, there's a man stopped in the road. Oh, he was getting a stick. Good Samaritan, that guy. Good Samaritan. Props to him. Clearing the road of debris for people like me who drive briskly everywhere they go. Alright. Turn signal on. Ford truck. I am coming over. You don't have a choice. You also don't have any mirrors. Alright. Floor it around the Hyundai. 
and let's go. Now I know this journey is only about 20 miles, which isn't really a lot, but it is all the way across town. There's more cops. There's the litter crew out. What? More cops. Do, 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 do. And the semi has just made its way in front of me. But like I was saying, I know this journey is only 20 miles, which really isn't that much. But the point is to see if it's quicker to take that's another cop. That's a good god. But anyway, the point is in this video to see if it's quicker to take highways and take the luxurious SUV or if it's quicker to drive like a maniac and take back roads. So there's one place here. I don't know what I'm going to do here. I could cut over. I'm supposed to stay on back roads and I would like to stay on back roads as long as I possibly can. Right, so the longer I can stay on back roads, in my opinion, the better. However, we're now behind a Honda Accord, 90s Honda Accord, going very, very slowly. So with this guy in front of me, I'm gonna be able to turn left up here. It's gonna keep me on technical back roads longer, which is good, as well as uh, get me out from behind this guy. Now, if this guy turns left up here, which is unlikely, but if he does, I'm gonna have to keep going straight, which means I'm going to technically hit a two-lane road, but it, it, I would consider it a main road. There's commercial buildings on it and things like that. No matter what, I have to get on that road, and I've gotten the clear to get on that road when time comes, but uh, I think at this point, it's better for me to turn left here. Now, with this, I'm going a bit out of the way. Um, not much, just a bit out of the way in order to avoid traffic and hopefully keep a uh, higher speed going. Now, I'm not as confident on these roads as I am on the roads I've just driven. I've also not checked these for debris or anything today. So we are now heading into unmarked territory. That's right. Okay, so I'm not as familiar with these roads. Um, I know them a little bit, but not anywhere near the amount I should to be able to, you know, do super crazy stuff, you know, on them. Like right there, that was a blind corner that I necessarily didn't know about. And that's another thing. Do not drive sporty if you don't have good brakes. If you got good brakes, you're good to drive sporty. However, otherwise, don't do it. It's not going to be a fun time because you're going to come up on a corner too fast, which all of us do, and you're going to just overshoot it because you're not going to be able to stop in time. I am getting close. Oh, we are in the home stretch. Once I make it over this bridge, I got to get through it. What the fuck was that? All right, so right up here, we're going to turn right and uh, get on out of here. So this little uh, this little detour may have actually ended up being quicker. Now, only in East Tennessee do you have a warning tractor crossing sign. So um, if we hit a tractor, that would be absolutely hilarious. Okay, so we're going to straight and immediately take a left. And yeah, so looks like I'm curious where Patrick's at right now, but I am now, as a marker for him, passing Fairview School. So that's gonna be where I'm at. Now, luckily school's not in session, but I am going to kind of respect, you know, the school zone here and um, go, like I've always been going, 45. Um, or actually the speed limit is 30 for here, drops. So we're gonna, slow down a bit and observe that because again it is a school the car just sang a song to me we're gonna we're gonna call nick real quick all right call register dialed nick king i'm about to hit another set of speed cameras Got a phone call there. I'll just ignore that for now. Hello, this is Nick King. I'm sorry I missed your call. Please leave your name and number, and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. At the tone, please record your message. When you have finished recording, you may hang up or press 1 for more options. 
So I want to point out, Nick, you are either way ahead of me right now or you're in a ditch because you didn't answer. Another set of speed cameras I'm just rolling past. Um, I have been past so many cops. Just thought I'd update you. Uh, I hope you lose. However, school's on session, so we're good. All right, in school zone, back up to 45. That went well. All right, we are almost to the home stretch. I know a while back we said we were in the home stretch. We're not yet. I was a bit, I was a bit happy. Now, what would really suck? is if Nick is pulling onto this highway because he has to do this one little bit of stretch of highway in order to get to the finish. But if, if he pulls on right as I'm going past, he will pass me and I can't go faster than him. I'm afraid I'll blow an engine. But once I hit this gas station up here, it's a set of red lights. If I can get through these red lights, I'll have it. Oh, I am so nervous right now. All right, so I have hit my first red light, which this is the road that I was talking about where I technically have permission to get on this road. Uh, it is a main road, but there's no way for me to keep on back roads and get over to where we're going. So at this point, I'm just kind of on main roads with Patrick. So really, if we had raced to this point, it would have been uh, very similar as to how it is. Thing is, he has a major highway where he can get up to 70 probably even 75 miles an hour if he wanted to, which is going to help him a lot. Um, however, he's probably also had to deal with some of this sitting at red lights. But we got a green and off we go. So at this point, I have to deal with cops. I have to do all that stuff. I can't really, you know, I mean, push things too hard um, without, you know, hitting a rift. So I've now entered the city limits as I was talking about earlier and um, just kind of riding it out until we get there. We're gonna see who wins. So I've actually gotten lucky here. I was really expecting to get caught at this red light and I didn't. That's actually gonna be, I think, my last red light that I deal with. So um, at this point, it's kind of just speed limit driving, smooth sailing. Uh, I am caught behind some traffic here, but nothing crazy. So I'll see you guys, I guess, when I get on the major highway that takes us to our final destination. Now, Patrick could pass me right here because I think he is going to be taking the major highway, whereas I'm taking like a secondary highway, right? This is just like a commercial road, um, whereas, you know, there's the major four-lane highway, and I think Patrick is taking that while I'm sitting here literally at a standstill stop. So, Patrick can make up tons of time right now um, depending on the route he takes. So, I don't know what route he's taking. If he takes this route, he would be caught in the same traffic. I'm looking behind me to see if he's there and he's not. But um, yeah, that's kind of where we're sitting. So, and we are sitting. So, I will. Uh, I will see what happens. No! Damn it! I have to beat him to this. I will never hear the end of it if I don't beat him. Uh, come on! 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 Hi. Range Rover shifting smoothly now. Accelerating hard, actually. Patrick actually just called me, so I'm gonna call Patrick back here um, while I'm sitting in this traffic, and uh, yeah. Okay, there is the ramp that Nick has to take in order to get here. Now, I have to be careful because there can't be any cops sitting on this bridge right here, which they like to do. No sign of Nick. No sign of Nick. Have I won? Am I gonna win? Ah! I might win! Have I won? Have I won? I think I've won! There's no sign of Nick! There's no sign of Nick! I've won! I've actually won the first race! I think. I can't say for sure. Although I already did. I have to pull in here first. Oh my god! I won! Yes! Yes, I fucking won! Calling Patrick. Yes! Okay, Nick is calling. Nick is calling. I can't let him know that we're here. Hello? Hey. 
How's, it, how's your trip going? Um, I've hit some major roadblock on uh, Buffalo Trail here. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, we're close. We're close. <laughs> I know. I, I think I would have won. Had I not hit this major, like, I mean, traffic is at a stop on Buffalo Trail. Trail. Where are you? I am on Highway 25. I was actually just talking about that, how you literally, this could... Allow you to win. Because... I mean, I am so backed up here, like, complete standstill. That you could possibly come back and win here, and, you know, it's very possible you do. How fast were you going? Uh, 45? 45. 45? Okay, well, all right. I will see you at the finish line. See you at the finish line, see you win. All right. <laughs> oh! These people, it, it's a construction, like, utility company picking up fucking stuff, like, setting signs or picking up signs. I don't know what they're doing, but they've got a cop with them. It, this is serious. It's not like, you know, honestly, I wish I could just cut around them, but I can't. And I think, I mean, like, looking at this and, and where I'm at, I really think Patrick's going to win this. Alright, I gotta get this camera out. We are here, we have won, we won the first race, Nick is stuck on a back road in traffic, so this is proof that the Range Rover is the faster car, so, boom. For anyone who said I was crazy for comparing the Range Rover to the 4 Series, you were wrong. The Range Rover is still better. I had the better ride experience. I had more fun, maybe. I didn't get stuck in traffic, and I am here. So, there we go. I won! I am so excited, and Nick has no idea. You know, they're letting the other side of traffic pass, but not letting us pass at all. So maybe, you know, I mean, if I was them, we're backed up very, very far, 20, 30 cars probably. And um, if I was them, I would pull over, block the other side of traffic, let us on by, and do that. But um, I, I don't necessarily know if they have any interest in doing that. So, yeah, I mean, the other side of traffic is just flowing right on by. Okay, so they are now moving. Again, we're going to see if they stop again. Um, oh, my God. This is crazy. 18 minutes so far, I think, is what this has taken. I'm I'm just slowly. I mean, if he's on 25, um, which 25 is the major highway I was talking about. So if he's over there, I mean, there's a a very very good chance that he's probably beat me in this like slow bit I've hit here. Huh. Well, I'm gonna get out and enjoy the lake. So let's go. So I am about to be able to finally hit Highway 25 up here where Patrick's at. I'm just going to be on it for a touch, right? So just get on it and then immediately turn left off of it. Um, basically cross a bridge into a separate county and then turn left. In doing that, I'm curious, you know, it would be really crazy if we, like, were on Highway 25 at the same time here, like, merged right next to each other. So we've got this guy turning, and then after this guy, the traffic's about to open up, and boom. So now traffic's opened up. I'm gonna get up to this car in front of me, try to eliminate, you know, just as much of a gap as I can. For all I know, Patrick's literally above me on the, the road right now. I'm on an underpass. So I'm looking over. I don't see him right now. Um, you know, for all I know, he's back there or he's he's there. He's arrived. So um, this is gonna be interesting. It's gonna be really interesting. All right, so now, here we go. I gotta wait to merge. I can merge now. Going all the way over because I'm turning left right after the bridge. Put that pedal down on the bridge. And we went 45. I am now just sitting in the back of the rover on the tailgate. One of the best parts about the Range Rover, one of many because it is still the fastest car of the two. Up until we get the next car, the replacement. But, which we'll have to do this trip again. A, a different one. Maybe we'll We'll have to go to the other side of another lake, but uh, yeah, that's pretty much what we did. Nick drove all the way down the lake 
and I didn't and I won and here he comes here he comes oh man this is so freaking close guys like I did not expect it to be this close if I'm honest like I really didn't there he is he beat me because of fucking traffic because of fucking traffic God, because of fucking traffic too, man. I was here when I called you. Really? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, you then, you won big time. <laughs> you won big time. I really think, like, I, I literally sat in that traffic for six minutes. Really? Yeah. Huh. On, on I sat at red lights forever. There were cops everywhere. I ran across eight cops. Really? Yeah. I, I didn't see a single cop. Except, well, there was one cop leading the, like, trail in front of me, but... God. Yes! Did you drive fast? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. I won. On top of the Range Rover being the better car, it even has a self-leveling feature, so it just leveled itself out because it realized it was parked on an incline. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up. Nick's a loser. I won the first Breakdown Automotive Challenge, which is the way it should be. And now, my grandchildren don't have to hear about it 60 years from now. I fucking won! My and I am a gracious winner. That is the thing. I am a gracious winner. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to check out Downforce, and I will see you guys in Saturday's video. So Patrick's not going to know what this clip is, but I just wanted to say that was a great race. Uh, ran there. Patrick won fair and square, even though I did get hit with some pretty bad traffic towards the end there, which kind of did delay me getting there a bit. I think it would have been super close had I not hit that traffic, but we're going to grab lunch after this recording. I doubt you'll use this, Patrick, but if you do, here it is. Good race, but I want a rematch. We need to come up with something else to do. We need to do this again. That was really fun. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching. I don't know when Patrick's going to use this, but uh, it was a pleasure to be on the automotive channel. So um, yeah, thanks, Patrick, for uh, letting me participate. It's awesome stuff, and um, hopefully I'll see you guys again soon for another freaking awesome race. Also, my MPG in that was at 28 when I started. After um, recording that video, it's now down to 17. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna need to get gas soon too.